The fundamental goal of the Mido Space Program is to inspire young women to study maths and science and to actually follow STEM degrees. STEM is an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. 80% of the jobs in the future are going to be STEM jobs. And it's one thing to have fabulous teachers and a fabulous curriculum, but what if we don't have people who are really inspired to learn? The Mido Space Program has three phases. The first phase is what we call space prep. Here we go out to underprivileged schools on weekends and we run a one-day workshop where we teach young women about space, satellites, electronics, and they put together their own little jiggy bot. The second phase is what we're doing here uh, in the middle of the Western Cape, is we're running a space trek boot camp. It's a week-long boot camp and here the young women put together a payload that could typically go onto a satellite and they're testing those payloads, collecting data using weather balloons. And the third phase is when we're going to be launching our satellite with another 35 small satellites. So the girls have a challenge of measuring the temperature of the atmosphere up to five kilometers. But the key point is, is that they have to stay here on the ground and so what they do is they build this electronic device called a cricket sat that's going to transmit wirelessly uh, temperature data. And they're gonna strap this cricket sat to a tether that's connected to a helium balloon and then let it go. The way my cricket sat works is that it's connected on a PCB and it uses a nine volt battery. The thing that measures the temperature is a special kind of resistor called the thermistor. As the temperature rises or decreases, the rate that it resists current changes. So that is how we would be able to measure the temperature. So when the satellite goes up into the air, you um, receive um, information wisely that is on your computer. So you take the data from the computer and converts it into the temperature up to five kilometers in the air. It actually has a chirping sound, that's why they call it the cricket set. You know the sound the crickets make? The satellite makes that sound. Too few young women are entering STEM careers, so we are specifically focusing on young women to encourage them and to actually demonstrate to them you can do this. Every day you get to explore something new, create something new with your own hands, create magic with your own hands, I could say. When I got to experience more and learn more here at Space Track, I um, learned that physics is not boring but fun, especially in practicals, because when you do practicals, it's much easier than theory. I learned a lot about myself. I just need to be patient and follow, uh, follow my heart to pursue my dreams. I have to follow my passion, not following the money. At Space Trek, I enjoyed the practical side of learning. The way Miss Jane taught us how to put things together. She first gave us the theory, which didn't really make sense. And then like she threw us into the deep end where we did the practicals and then it all just clicked. Learning the solder at Space Trek Really, I really enjoyed that and like learning that skill, I never would have learned it if I didn't come to space. Trek. I've never imagined myself doing these kind of things, you know, a girl from a township uh, doing these kind of th things. It's been a wonderful experience, yeah. So the young women that go through Space Trek um, become very empowered after the camp. The camp is hard. It's a challenge. And the girls go through a roller coaster of emotions. But on that last day, when they give the presentation, they walk away with a sense of empowerment that they've never had before. A sense of walking away, ready to meet challenges that the world has to throw at them that they had never felt like they could meet before. And so they really take away um, a strong, increase in self-esteem and self-empowerment that they had never had in the past.